I'd like now to recognize uh, Ms. Stefani. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. The Biden-Harris Department of Education FAFSA disaster has harmed students and families, in many cases irreparably, across the country. We've spoken, my office has spoken with many families in northern New York. They are concerned about the fallout and downstream ripple effects of the FAFSA delay, including talking with parents worrying that their child's scholarship will be revoked as they try to afford college. This is on top of the historic inflation crisis that is painful for families with an average median income in my district of about forty-five dollars to $50,000. And we know this problem was avoidable, and this misstep has led to the largest declines in applications coming from low-income students, in some cases removing the opportunity for those kids to go to college. So I want to focus on the GAO investigation uh, and just to verify some of the findings here. While the department claimed that it took an average 15 to 20 minutes to fill out the FAFSA application, the investigation found that it took a two-parent household an average of nine and a half days to complete. Is that correct? That is correct for parents that filed their taxes separately. It took nine and a half days. Nine and a half days. Um, nearly three quarters of calls to the department's call center went unanswered in the first five months of the rollout. Is that correct? Unfortunately, it is. And the department inexplicably cut its call center staff compared to the previous year, and they, in fact, ended up receiving twice as many total calls. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, the department also refused to provide students information on the status of their applications or solutions to technical problems for months, telling many to just, quote, try again later. Is that correct? That is correct. This obviously is very, very frustrating for families. My question is, what students and families were hurt the most by these FAFSA delays? It was the lower income and middle income families. Families that have wealth that do not need federal aid could care less about the FAFSA. It didn't affect them. They could pick whatever college they wanted to. But for everyone else, which is most Americans, it was extremely difficult. And the folks that were hurt the most were the most low income. For the independent students, that was individuals making $30,000 or less had the steepest declines in FAFSA submissions. For dependent applicants, thinking like high school seniors, it was for families with incomes between thirty dollars and $48,000. So these are the families that are being affected. These are the families that need education to help achieve an economic future. Thank you. I yield back. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to